Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Hope you all had a wonderful afternoon. Hey everybody on Instagram and over here we have Facebook and we have YouTube here. You guys, I'm back with this beautiful green dresser that we've been working on for the last few nights. Um, back to actually add in the putty knife. I've been teasing you guys about it, telling you all about it yesterday. Um, so I started a little bit and did just a little tiny demonstration so you would actually see what the end game look is. So you, if you haven't seen me use my putty knife, you can tell it's extremely old. I've been using it for years. Um, I think I actually found it in the toolbox years ago and decided it was mine. It was and mine. Matt, it was Matt's. Say hi, Matt. Hello. He did not get it back. So needless to say, it's mine. It goes everywhere with me. It'll be going with me to Ohio tomorrow morning. Um, welcome everybody. We're back for part four, I believe. Or is it part three? I don't remember, but uh, morning from England. <clears throat> hi. Um, this is that green dresser that we've been working on now. Just a really quick recap and then we're gonna get busy with the putty knife and get moving um again if you are yeah matt is back rainbow 505 thanks again what, for being what? a super chat last night um she was one of our super fans last night matt she was yeah we Same had this time. brand new feature that youtube decided um that i could do super chats and so um didn't even really know what that was but I found out really quickly. So um, thank you so much for all of you that we're, we're working on getting some new equipment. Um, we've got packing tape, um, a tripod upside down. We've got something it's, really interesting it's, it's, going. It's, it's, and Matt just laughed at me actually while I was trying to get everything set up. He's sitting over there laughing because he wants to get me some better equipment for streaming. Um, instead of more, more Matt, Lance said more your husband. M-Y-H. Why don't you say more my brother? More my bro? M-Y-H. I don't know. More your husband. More, okay. Um, so <laughs> the first color that I started with um, was Monet's Garden. You guys, I'm using DIY paint. It's a it's a um, clay-based paint. And um, I've, got some, I've got some fun things that I want to try with this one. And then we have Salty Kiss. And then Mint Chip is kind of our highlighter. So the three together has formed this. Um, we've been blending, we used a little bit of water. Then last night we actually sprayed a little bit of Bohemian Blue. Now, I had a question today from somebody asking if they could use a different color. You can certainly do use a different color, but I will recommend that the color be deeper. And I'm not using my fancy spray mist, my, my mister bottles, you guys. I'm using these old cheap things from the hardware store. Um, so if, you want to apply a wash, either go with a darker color, hi mama, um, or go with something that's brighter. So either, you know, fuchsia or something that's gonna be brighter. I actually thought Old 57 would be pretty good on this because it's a bright turquoise, um, but I ended up using Bohemian Blue, so it's darker. It gives it just a little bit of a watercolor effect, you guys. Um, it's something you could probably see a little bit more in person, but if you notice right here, this, deepened the green and give it gives it that um the watercolor look so hey kelly weiler um kelly weiler she's on here guys that's where i'm headed in the morning she just went live a little bit ago and announced that we were able to open up a few more tickets she found out that she could have a little bit more in the room than we thought and so when the tickets sold out this morning she found out that we could actually add some tickets so if you were one of those last minute people and you want to come you can still go over to girlupcyclestudios.com and you can grab yourself a seat hit the road and come see us We'll be um, teaching Saturday in Zanesville, Ohio at two o'clock, no, five o'clock. Um, all right, so I have just water in this bottle. There's nothing else in here. We're gonna start with Blue Iris, which is what this looks like right here. Okay, that's exactly what this is. So we have basically three colors of the green. We're gonna add in Blue Iris. And then I decided, Matt, you weren't here for last night when all that super chat and stuff was going on and wigging me out and I don't even remember a whole lot of it because um, I kept going, what's happening? Uh, we've got golden ticket and I know for certain that the golden ticket's gonna go on here. I kind of think I wanna do something that's a little bit more modern. You're doing something modern? Well, here, I, I, yeah, I saw this picture and I got really inspired to grab uh, my dusty brush and do like a really intense gold modern 
finish on here. So it's a thought. I haven't worked out the details in my brain. Just bear with me. So I'm just gonna lightly mist this in the area that I'm gonna apply my blue iris. And you guys know, I told you, I'm just gonna keep using blue iris for the rest of the year because I'm so excited to finally have our cobalt in the DIY. Yeah, the drawer, the drawer pull is gone. Matt came in here a few minutes ago and, and it had to be broken though. It had to be broken off. So, you don't need much. Not that much. This is a Holly. She's our first super fan tonight. Now they they pick turquoise. That's interesting. It's very cool. So yeah, I am bummed about it, Roxanne. I'm so bummed that it broke it. So look right here. It's chiseled on both sides, and this is really hard tool to find. This is from Hyde, H-Y-D-E is the brand. Um, and I usually just apply it on one side. It's a very, very small amount of paint. Okay, so right here where it's, where it's wet, I'm gonna go in right here and I'm just gonna lightly lay the piece of, I'm just gonna let it like lay on there. Like it's not, I'm not pressing, I'm not pushing. I'm just letting it lie against it, okay? So it's not pulling any paint off. And then I'm gonna spray it with water. Again, this is our desired look right here. I did some earlier so I could show you what it was supposed to look like if you've never seen me do this before. This is a technique I've been doing for several years. But I'm trying to convince everybody that blue iris looks good with every single color in the whole color will schmill. Oh, Instagram cannot see a thing. Mm -mm. Hang on, I'm so sorry guys. Instagram is totally left out of the party. Here we go. Okay. Now the idea is for you to not actually be able to tell which color is first, the blue or the green. So when we're completely done with this whole makeover, I want you to look at it. Brianna, hi, sweetie. I want you to look at it and not be able to tell which is which. But it's a process, like everything else that we do. It's not something you can just get done and finish a piece of furniture in 30 minutes. Hey, Ashley Gomez is on here. Get out. She's right there. Where? Right there on the Facebooks. She says, oh, Ashley Gomez. Is. So excited to see the Woods family in Ohio this weekend. I'm coming to see you, girl. Yeah, I'm going to watch you play a little ball. We're going to go to Xavier Women's Basketball and watch our friend Ashley Gomez. She's a senior, and we told her when she left. We're gonna come watch you play. Well, guess what? She's a senior and we better hurry our butt up. So we're going when uh, we're after class Saturday, we're gonna get up Sunday morning and drive to Cincinnati and go see Miss Ashley. Got some good groups on here tonight, honey. Do we? A lot of, lot of fabulous uh, comments and a lot, of, a lot of love tonight. There's a lot of love going oh, on. Oh, right you guys. Lots of love. Yeah, yeah. They missed you last night, Woods. Well, they that, missed you. That, yeah. You figured that. Though. I had to get on a little bit. Oh, that's uh, right. I got on a little bit. You need bit. to get your own account though, and not come in as Lige. I know. <laughs> yeah, they missed you. Some people just came in and said, "Hey, Matt," and I said, "I'm sorry, he's not here." I know. That's oh, all right no. though. Okay, make sure, and so it doesn't get too muddled. Um, Susie said you came on under a different name. But yeah, I came in under my, uh, my son's. Um, look at that. See, honey, how it says that super, super chat. That's $1.99. Isn't that I, an interesting thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's here. But um, the wonderful lady who's on here all the time. Yes. Uh, the woman that I cannot pronounce her Lizarni. name. Lizarni. Huh? Lizarni. Is, is he Arnie? Lizarni? <laughs> <No>. Lizarni? <laughs> sorry. Her name she, is Alice. I know she told us her, her name. Her name is Alice. So I, Alice I is that. here. Alice is, in the house tonight. Alice is here on on the YouTube. <laughs> Kathy, I was not cleaning the pool last night. I was at, with my son. At, at no, Rachel. before, before they saw your video of you of you doing the, working on the pool. Oh yeah. Remember, I, I took that. video of the pool boy oh, and I got yeah. busted. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I I posted the video so she saw it. You're welcome. They sent more Matt. So I posted your video. Okay, 
See, this is what it's gonna look like once it's dry, you all. Heidi McClure for a dollar ninety-nine. Heidi McClure is a super fan. Sweet. Rita says she feels like she has a lot of new friends. Honey, Rita, she's on YouTube and she actually came. Rita Young? Yeah. Yeah, she came to the class in Solana Beach at Debbie's. Oh, nice. Yes, and she gave me those gorgeous turquoise earrings that I brought back. Okay, this is this is working really well for me. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here on this side. I love the way this looks. Uh, Susan Chilbert says, she's on, she's on YouTube. Uh, often when I use the putty knife, it takes the paint off. Yeah, I don't but like that much. Don't press so hard, Shug. Like it's gotta just be light. Like how I said, you just light you just lay it on there and just you're not press you're not pressing down. So you're saying all. a good good technique is to use like a couple fingers, not yeah, the whole hand. Just if you actually just lay it on there, a couple of fingers. Honey, we missed a super fan. What? There's oh Wendy! Wendy Moore, Wendy we Moore. forgot Wendy. Wendy Moore. Thank you so much. Uh, you too, when you interact, remind me of the gains. Linda. Who? Uh, you too, when you when you interact, you remind me of the gains, oh, she said. Yeah. Yes, I actually, when I used to watch that, I mean, I don't watch it much anymore, but because um, I feel like I've seen every episode so many times, I used to I used to look at Matt and start, I just with my finger, I'd be like, you are so much like, because <laughs> they're ornery, and then they're so ornery, and I have a brother who's like that, and he's ornery. He's on YouTube watching right now. Hi, Amber. How's the earring making going? Amber, I can't wait to get my earrings. Cannot wait. She's actually, Amber is actually making earrings this color um, for a bunch of gifts that I ordered. <clears throat> All right, we're going to keep doing the same thing around here. Guys, it's random. It's not going to be, um, actually, let's put some right here on this bottom drawer right here. All right. Honey, you may have to actually get me some water for this water bottle if you do not mind. But it takes me away from my fans. It takes you away from your fans. Oh, we'll just we'll call it a an in break. Give me a give an in break. Give me a cup. Give me a minute. All right. Thank you, honey. As the goal is that we just we don't want it to be obvious. Um, the mm, which one came first. Yes, putty knife in action. It's been a while, but see, I'm not applying any pressure. I'm literally just holding it and just rubbing it across. It doesn't pull any paint off. It just pulls the paint from here to there. Okay, thank you, Derry. Okay, what I miss? Um, you miss a putty knife instructional video. So once this is all dry, guys, I won't be here tomorrow. I won't even be able to paint on this for the next few days. Just FYI. You're not going to miss it. Maybe you can get caught up with the other ones, but I do. Um, I will be live tomorrow in Zanesville, Ohio with a few of my favorite friends. We'll do a Friday Night Live. This is just water, guys. If you're just popping on, it's just water. We're on our fourth color that we're applying. Uh, this is the blue. Uh, Mia McLean on Facebook. Hi, Mia. Said, Who did you watch to learn how to paint? Um, I, I'm completely self-taught. I've never watched anybody. I've never done an art class or taught. Like, when I started painting, there wasn't all these videos online. There was no way for me to learn by watching. I had to learn by doing, and that's just what I've done. Uh, we have Allison uh, Murley. Hi, Alice. Or it's Merle. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, great to watch you live. I'm in the UK and it's in the middle of the night here, so usually fast asleep. Oh, where are you up, sister? Maybe she has a dog that gets her up in the middle of the night. Yeah, Abby her. got me up at 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock in the middle of the night to let her out. See, I'm not rushing it. I'm just taking my time. Um... I also worked on our kitchen cabinets today, and I was joking because I found all kinds of things up there. You know how people put like phone books up there on the up there, and you can stack things, and it, it raises things up. So I found every phone book for the last twenty years was up there. And uh, Matt, are there any questions that I'm missing? Uh, yeah, um, some uh, ladies would like to know uh, Danita. 
Krauss. Uh, what is the base color? The base color. It's mo <coughs> Matthew. You need to answer. More? No, just it's answer. Uh, it's the Monet. No, it's Monet. It's Monet. That's how you say it. Monet Garden. Monet's Garden. It's Monet. Mm -hmm. Monet's. Something keeps getting in my throat. It's Monet's Garden. And um, then I've added some Salty Kiss and some Mint Chip. Those are the three colors. Well, I thought I had water, but yeah, I guess I do need my... <clears throat> I had some water in there on the counter. Allison said, yes, that's why I'm awake, to let the dog out. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, those dogs. All right, tell my fans I'll be right back. All right, taking an in-break, an in-break. Okay. I'm just letting it drip. Now this right here is dry. So this is all actually going to look just like this once it's dry. This is actually also the tool that I use when I do some distressing. When the paint is wet, I can actually just use it to pull the paint off of the edges without having to do any sanding whatsoever. I just scrape it along the sides and wipe it on my drop cloth. Thank you so much. This is my water. I'm sorry guys, but I need a drink really quickly. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to roll it around to the side and we'll do the side before we sign off tonight. I'm really excited to have the putty knife back in action. Um, Cindy, Renell. Hi Cindy. Uh, how and when did you get started painting. Did it start with canvas furniture or on something else? Furniture first. Actually, I tried canvas painting. I always wanted to be an artist. Uh, I tried canvas painting when I was 30. I bought myself a set of acrylics, uh, table stuff when I was um, turned 30. I'm 43 now. Um, I had a little one at the time, and he liked to get into everything with his fingers. And so, you know, when you're painting, you kind of want to leave your stuff out, kind of leave a mess. Well, that one wanted to get into everything, and that one's almost 15 now. Um, so, he still likes to get into everything, doesn't he, honey? Who's that? The 15-year-old. He oh, wants yeah, to yeah, touch yeah. everything and figure it all out. We have a few, a few questions real quick. Uh -huh. Um... I was going to answer her though, so. Oh, I thought you did. My bad. Don't let me forget. I'll I'll go back to that. Okay. Um, I want to make a correction on the pronunciation. It's not money garden. It's Monet's garden, like the painter, like the painter Monet or Monet. Is yeah, it Monet I, or Monet? It's Monet. It's Monet is the way we were told to pro it is pronounced Monet. appropriately. Um, guys, the and, uh, my my uh, my accent's probably really messing it up. <laughs> and these are all DIY colors. These are, are all DIY colors. colors. Yes, it's M O M O N E T. That's the color on the jar. We just got back from Paris. Um, I went with a bunch of friends and the owner of the paint company, and um, we are doing or I am doing some paint finishes inspired by our trip. We've got a really good discussion on, on YouTube um, for uh, Monet or... Okay, Monet. well, I'm going to go ahead and finish her question just so... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm really excited over here. So, furniture came first as a way for me to um, be able to stay home with the kids and make all their ball games. And so I started working my tail off in the garage and flipping furniture and then realized I kind of... Um, enjoyed it and as soon as I turned it into more artwork and treated the furniture as my canvas I realized now I'm going to actually move to canvas and have a lower price point for people um, that could that couldn't afford my furniture um, and then I tried the furniture the, the artwork again on canvas and realized years later I had more patience for it I didn't quite have the patience for it at 30 I didn't have the patience my world wasn't um, wasn't what it is now to give myself some break and give myself some grace as I learn. I think I just thought all of a sudden I'd do it and it was going to be easy. Wrong. Uh, what for, uh, this is from Karen Coings. Okay. Hi, Karen. Uh, I know I didn't say that right, but 
What three colors would you put together for green tones, blue tones, and orange tones? Oh, yeah. Um, so as far as DIY, I only know DIY colors because that's all that I use um, for furniture. That's all I use. So blues, greens, I would always include all 57 and bohemian blue. And I personally like to add in yellow. So you automatically get a shade of green when you mix the yellow in a makeover with the blue. So I would add Queen B to that. And then if you wanted the orange, I would definitely go with the Cowgirl Coral and maybe the um, Fire Starter. Those are the colors I would go with. It's a great combination and they're awfully complimentary of each other too. And this I'm actually pressing a little bit harder because I'm trying to distress it as I apply the paint. Uh, Lily Bachelor. Hi, Lily. Uh, she is on the Facebook. Is the paint you use with the scraper thin down? No, not at all. It's it's not even dripping. It's that clay-based paint. It's not dripping at all. But you're you're it's wetting the furniture before you apply the paint. Right? Yeah, yeah. This reactivates the paint, and so what happens is there's a few areas where that Mo the Monet's Garden it will actually pull off a little bit. Which is what I love because then once it's all dry, you don't actually, you can't, it's not so obvious which color was first. Now, obviously we know that the green was first, but um, you can't necessarily tell that the blue was applied afterwards. It just gets down in all of those grooves and it leaves a really textured finish. Uh, Julie on YouTube, did I miss something? I thought you sprayed it with three quarter water quarter paint. That was yesterday, babe. I did this yesterday, right here. Um, this was the Bohemian Blue. We did, did two ounces of paint versus 12 ounces of water. And this was Bohemian Blue that I said, nope, you didn't miss it, girl. You got it right. And Billy, Billy on YouTube. Hi, did, Billy. Did you paint over the blue you sprayed on last night? It's right here. It's all, you can see where it's all. Might be kind of hard to see. Actually. Dripping. Yeah, it's, it's, um. It's, it's got the whole drip watercolor effect all here. It was supposed to be light. It wasn't supposed to be dripped like it was yesterday really heavily. Um, I applied the water and I let it drip and this is how it dries. So it just dries a lot lighter. So that's the whole freak out factor. I'm like, calm down, it'll be good, I promise. I promise. So you can actually see where the Bohemian Blue left its mark and left that watercolor texture right there. Uh, Cheryl Stanucci. Hi, Cheryl. Um, she is from South Carolina. How do you describe? How do you decide to seal to seal with wax or big time? I prefer wax, probably ninety percent of the time, because I I love the way that the wax actually changes the color, because I usually use more than one wax color. Um, the big top's going to be glossier. And a lot of these rustic finishes, I don't really want. Um, I don't really want. Okay, I don't know if you can't see the drips. The drips are right here. They're just a lot softer. They're going to fade because I applied it with it's water and it's watered down. Yeah, it's they're, 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 it's it may be hard to see from the camera, but in person you can see all of the drips right here and they are all over the front as well. But when I spray water on it, it makes it look darker. They're still there. I did not completely cover them up, no. We will be back late Monday, so we'll, we'll work on the golden ticket come Tuesday. So Tuesday? Yeah. We'll do it Tuesday around 8.30. But they can come, they can come watch us Friday night and we'll be in and out, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll we just won't be doing the golden ticket. And I'm just kind of pressing into these seams with a little bit of that blue. You can't really see all of this until it's dry, exactly what I'm doing. I'm applying a little bit more pressure here. Why would you apply more pressure again? Because I'm distressing it. I'm actually oh, pulling okay. the green off and then I'm shoving that blue into the grain of the wood. 
and then I wipe what I pulled off onto the drop cloth so it doesn't get smudgy and weird. All right, so one last thing. The other side, this is what we did last night. We sprayed the Bohemian Blue, and I'm gonna do that other side as a recap for those of you that might have missed that part of the makeover. I got it, Woods, don't get up. Oh, do you need help? <laughs> I got it. You, you sit tight there, kiddo. You're used to doing I got it by this. yourself. We have a couple questions if you're ready. I'm ready. Uh, Marie, uh, hello from North Dakota. Hi, Marie from North Dakota. Will a plastic putty knife work for this? If you don't want the base coat of paint to come off, would you use the top coat first before using the putty knife? Yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Although I've never done it like that before because I always enjoy for the paint to come off just a little bit. Um, but that is a good recommendation and, and I think that'd be a great idea. Um, I've just never done it that way. Um, as far as the plastic one, I have also never used a plastic one. I've heard people say that it, um, it pulls the paint off. Make sure your corners are not sharp. So if you have a putty knife, make sure you file the corners down just a little bit so they're more rounded and softened. Um, that's another thing. Uh, Where can you find a bottle? I will sorry. tell you right now. Uh, um, you can go to paint. I'm sorry. I knew you were reason the question, questions, but I, right when I looked there, it was, um, this is from the Turquoise Iris Collection. You can go to paintpixie.com. And if you click on the Turquoise Iris Collection, these fine mist water bottles are um, now available. So I'm happy to finally have these available for you all. Okay, recapping from last night. This is where we left it. And then this is what I did on the front and the side. So for those of you that might've missed it and you're not understanding what I sprayed on, this is just a little bit of watered down paint. It's Bohemian Blue, which is our teal. Uh, Emma Ramos. Hi, can Emma. Can you use wax or white wax and then use Big Top on top of those waxes? Um, you want to probably use wax last. Wax is a, is a breathable product that you want to just apply last. So if you want to use Big Top, you can put wax over it. Maria S. Abbott, what are the two first colors you use? <laughs> Monet's Garden. Monet's Garden and... Salty Kiss. Salty Kisses. Kiss. Kisses. Kiss. Salty Kiss. And Mint Chip. Mint Those Chip. Are Those are the three greens. Um, are you still using the double beveled edge putty knife? I sure am. Right here. So this is what this looked like last night here, but it dries a lot lighter. Okay. And then we just let it drip and do its thing. It's going to lighten up. And so the way that this is left right now is what this look, will look like. It'll look like this. And then I'll still need to apply the blue putty knife to that. Angela Miller Ham. Hi, do Angela. You, do you ever use silicone brushes instead of the metal putty knife? Um, I don't. I know that Debbie does. Debbie Beard, um, she loves, and I have one maybe that she gave me. Um, but here's the thing: I like my putty knife. I'm not saying that everyone should should use a metal putty knife. This is just what I've always used. I'm really familiar with it. I have an easy hand with it. Um, and I'm not going to use anything else because I'm, I just, I love this tool the best. Um, and I think, honestly, I think it's easier than anything else. You can see that this is starting to dry right here. And um, what we're going to end up doing, here's the other thing. I wanted to ask you guys' opinion. Anybody want to give me their opinion? I will. Okay, Woods. All right, I grabbed, you know, the last piece we did, that blue piece, we put a transfer on it. it turned out really really good. So I was planning on doing a hand painted design, but then I remembered I had these brand new transfers from IOD. So for those of you, did y'all catch the last, um, the last, um, show? Episode? The last makeover I did. Yes. That had the blue and we, we did the, um, Japonica. Japonica. So I have two 
transfers that I could actually decide which one to apply. Both of these, one of these is new. This is Midnight Garden, and this was called Wander. And so part of me was like, wait, the green would look so good with this transfer on the front of it. So the other part of me wants to hand paint a pretty, real pretty design on it, kind of do something modern. So I want your vote. I, Some I, of you are saying hand paint. You, I, I think you should do both. You think I should do both? I think you can incorporate both of them to be pretty. Susie says do them both, question mark. I do do that, but Nancy says do modern. Wander is so pretty. Um, let me show you all this Wander one because I'm thinking I'm thinking Midnight Garden would be really pretty too, but I kind of want to use one. Yeah, someone's saying, why don't you both? I can, get a lot of both. So I'm yeah, I could do both. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the new transfer. Use both. Ah. I got a question here from uh, Joanne Bolin. Joanne, what's up, girl? If you waxed a project and you want to redo it, can you paint over the wax? Yeah, I just lightly sand it. Occasionally, I have a piece that doesn't sell. And so I got to repaint it. Um, I will lightly go over it with my sanding block and uh, just kind of rough up the wax just a little bit and then paint over it. Hand paint and wander. Okay, I thought I was going to open this for you all. You need some help again? Uh, woods. Get a lot of boats on here, honey. I just don't think you okay. should hesitate. Just do both. Just do both? Okay, well, I'm glad I asked. Yeah, you get a lot. Everybody's, everybody's excited. Everybody likes to try transfers, so. Yep, that's both Okay, YouTube so and we're probably going to do the transfer. And then once we get it all laid out, cut it up, sections, then I will always, always, always add my own touch just so mine looks different than everybody else's um, because I think that's, that's kind of fun. Oh, yeah, please help. You guys that are on YouTube and doing the super chat thing, that's a new thing for me. I appreciate you so much. Again, if you want to come to Ohio, Kelly said, guys, we have more room than she thought. There was some regulations, and then she found out she could fit a whole lot more into the room than she thought. So um, there are tickets still available at Girl Upcycled studios.com and then um you go to reserve my seat and then i always distress the tra transfers actually heidi mcclure how are you dear um i almost always distress the transfers because when i add in my hand painted and mix it all together it just looks a little bit better if i distress it okay there it is let's th show this before i let you all go this is a transfer from iron orchid design it is called wander um, it's one of their newest ones, as I used Japonica the other day. Um, oh, I haven't seen it in person. <sighs> okay, so this paper, it's white. On, it's just paper on the background, okay? Just to keep it from sticking to each other. Uh, Mary? Uh, does Mary? IOD still have the ones where you can paint like a coloring book? You sure could. Yep. They, you can buy the black and white ones and you completely paint it in. Paintable transfer. Look at this. So this is Wander. So this would go all the way across. I could cut it up into sections because it's not quite wide enough, as wide. Um, and then I could fill in my own flowers. I could fill in, well, just about anything. I could do it any way that we chose to. Um, uh, we have a question from Jen, Jen Herman. Hi, Jen. How would I keep the dark look the colors have when they are wet. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah, when I put wax on this, it's gonna darken back up a little bit. Um, it got a lot lighter. So, you know, when you apply the paint, it's dark. It's the color that it's in the jar. Then it dries, all that moisture evaporates. And then when you put the wax or the big top back on it, it pulls the intensity back to the color. So it's not gonna actually stay this light. Once I finish it and seal it, it's actually gonna become darker like it is the color in the can. It's the clay. The clay holds a lot of moisture. It's very porous. Um, and so it just gets a lot lighter. And most chalk paints are like that as well. Um, Mandy Driscoll, she would like to see the other transfer. You want to so see the other one too? I'm, I'm gonna open it up. Oh, Matt's already on it. Go, Matt. Whoop, whoop. Where do you get the transfer? They are, um, you can get them from any online stockist or you can get them at a local stockist, stockist whichever one is closest to you you can go to iod ironorchiddesign.com and look for their brick and mortars and for their online stores um, if you're in more oklahoma or local you can get them where i sell them 
Okay, this is Midnight Trance for you all. So this has, what I love about this one is the huge bird. Oh, I like the bird. Yeah, I like, I like uh... Look at the bird. She's like Bohemian Blue. So I really like this one. Matt needs a raise, says Antonio. Amen. Ah, a raise maze. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Mary? Ask so this is the other one. If you're doing big top and wax, I don't do them both together wait, wait, though. Wait, Guys, wait, I wait, never wait, ever wait, use wait, big wait, top wait. and wax. The if only you do need big top and wax, you big top first, then wax, or wax, then big top. Um, you will do wax last, but you really don't need um you really don't need um to do both. They're both top coats. So a lot of people say, don't use both transfers. No, I'm not gonna use them both. Okay. I was just showing you what the other one looked like. Um, I love the bird. I think either one of them would be really, really beautiful on here. Um, oh my gosh, look at the bird. Peacock's pretty awesome. Is it a peacock? I don't think it's a peacock. Let me see. I don't think it's a peacock. Let me see. I'm showing oh, you. No. Don't, don't get mad any... at me. Well, got peacock feathers. No, you didn't, girl upcycled. <laughs> Kelly Weiler's a super fan at 9 dollars Kelly Weiler. Nice. I gotta buy her dinner. That was so, Kelly, you're so cute. Super fan. Like a super fan. Debbie said we're gonna be dancing. Me and Kelly's gonna be dancing. Sure. Thank you, Kelly Weiler. You're awesome. Um, where's the lid? What's... Yeah, everybody's in there. <clears throat> it's right there, right by your foot. Literally, literally by on my foot. So I think people are saying it is a peacock. It doesn't really have the head of a peacock, but it, it looks pretty, pretty close. It's a lyre bird, says Mandy Driscoll. Oh, there you go. I don't know what a lyre bird is. Sounds like a woods bird. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Everybody's really liking that bird, though. Okay, well, the so bird you, you contender got, is got, a good contender. Yeah, you, it's a contender. Okay, so see how it's drawing, guys? This is what it looked like before I started because I did this earlier. I wanted to show you what it was supposed to look like. Now, this is um, this is it kind of drying, and it's real splotchy because it's drying. All of the Bohemian Blue darkened all of this up. You can still see it in the layers right here. I think really what they're going at is the bird because you got a green piece, so it's kind of foresty, and then you could do the bird transfer and then paint your mm -hmm. flowers. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Sorry, I'm wondering. You have to deal with me for four days straight. <laughs> I hit, yeah. And an airplane. Yeah. Ah. And Debbie. That's awesome. And Kelly, and our Kelly. super fan. Yeah, and You're going to love Kelly, honey. Um, so, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. Oh, I, was, I, was, I can was, add in yeah. my own. I will definitely have to add in my own touch. But the other thing that you can do is use one of their black and their stamps. Um, they offer a lot of stamps, so I'm actually thinking the script on here would be really pretty as well, putting that on first and then applying the transfer over it so you see little bits and pieces of the word, the script, um, peeking out. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I wasn't listening. Oh, good. Not listening. Um, I think we're done. I think it's brownie time and to finish the, su the suitcase. Okay, so we got a lot going on. People are a little confused on which one you're going to use. Um, I don't know. They really want to see you put the transfer on tonight, but mm, it's still I have to let, let it dry. got to let it dry first. So we'll actually do that on Tuesday, right? Yeah. So the golden ticket may not have, guys, the golden ticket's going to be more towards the very end. So if we end up doing one of these transfers, we have to do that first. This has to be 100% dry, which it will be by Tuesday. Um, we'll, we would do that and then if we want to do the script, we will do that as well before we put on the transfer, like stamp it in a few areas. Um, and then after I apply the transfer, one of these, I haven't decided. I'm not going to decide right now. It'll I'm, be, it literally will be Tuesday at 829. You don't know that. I know. Charlene, the, first, the name of the first one is Wander. W-A-N-D-E-R. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet. I'm not going to decide that right now. It's too much pressure for me. Um, you want to read that Emma Rosa? Emma Rosa? Oh, no, no. Ro Ramos. Emma Ramos. She's on the YouTubes. Uh, if you paint my DIY a buffer, what would you use on top of the furniture? I am only keeping the bottom piece in kitchen, not top. Help, it will be used by placing items on top. So she's talking about 
a top surface, what would you do on a top surface? What kind of product would you use? Would you buff it? Would you? Oh, you can just it? sand it. I would use dark and decrepit if it were me. Um, I'm actually going to paint this, but um, um, I'm like I said, I'm actually going to paint this. But you can just sand it and then put dark and decrepit, which is a product from DIY as well. It's basically the same color of an antique walnut. Or you can use one of their brand new products, which is a, wa a washed gray. It's like a driftwood color. You can actually apply that as well, which I would not use on this, but I did use on a different Monet's uh, watercolor dresser that I did in my group. Um, and then if you wanted to seal that with wax, you can, or you could put Big Top over that. Um, so I was going to say something. Your walls look purple or pink now, right? Isn't that weird when they're bright white? Um, we need to work on the lighting woods. So guys, we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna leave. We're gonna be gone in the morning. Yes, I will be here. I'm not skipping until Tuesday. I gotta do 100 lives in 100 days. We're only on day 45. So um, I will be here tomorrow for Friday Night Live with Kelly Weiler. We'll be in Zanesville. Whoever else is around will be popping on to the Friday Night Live. Um, Saturday will be live from the class. Sunday will be live from the basketball game at Xavier. Go. Xavier Knights? No. That's what they do. Ashley does this. That's an X for Xavier. I know, exact X, but what are, know, what's I their um, a knight. I don't think they're knights. Um and no. then uh, Monday, Monday night, now that will be the tricky one, to be honest with you. That'll be the tricky one because I'm not sure what time we get in. Um I'm such brighter on YouTube. I'm so much brighter, she said. Yeah. Um you know what? Just I have the better phone too. Instagram. You ought to look at Instagram. To be honest with you, Instagram has the way better setup, although it's vertical, but the lighting is way better on Instagram. So, um, hi, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, guys, I appreciate you being here. We're going to wrap this up. Go have a brownie, finish packing, and we'll see you tomorrow night at 830 Central Time. Good night. See ya. Thank you.